um, we've not been in here for a long time. We're in the, the bathroom. Um, this is the bathroom that's off our main bedroom. So there's no natural daylight, which I loathe. I do like a bathroom with lovely daylight, um, but this is just convenient. Um, and I thought I'd talk about skincare here, which makes sense. So I've just had a shower, the hair's up, obviously, and I wanted to talk to you about what I'm putting on my face. It hasn't really changed <laughs> at all, um, but, I know a lot of people do come here um, for rosacea advice and touch wood, I think you can just see the face. The lighting is actually quite good. And what I've discovered is that when the bulb gets really lovely and bright, it generally means that I'm gonna to need to replace the bulb very soon. Um, but anyway, the lighting's pretty good, but please bear in mind that there's no natural light. Um, I haven't got any filters or any lights or anything like that at all. This is purely on my phone camera, um, but um, the skin is, is pretty good. And the dark circles, hey, <laughs> they're just what they are. So um, skin wise, um, it's been a bit hit and miss. My skin is very, I found myself being a bit itchy. And I've spoken about this when my rosacea was really bad. Um, how itchy my skin is and the worst thing you can do is obviously scratch it and I do find keeping my nails short works a treat because if I have long nails I pick just how I am I've always been the same I pick and I scratch and it's the worst thing so keeping my nails short works and the thing I find when it itches you do want relief so what I do is I just basically I know this probably sounds ridiculous but I just sort of press what nails I have into the itchy area and it sort of relieves that itchy sensation. So it's been a little bit sensitive in that way. Um, you see, I've made it red now, look at that. Immediately it reacts. So you will find that with rosacea. So if you watch people putting their skincare on and they flush red, if it stays red, then you start panicking. If it starts to sort of subside and that's, look, you see that's wearing, that's wearing off already fine so do have patience with the products don't suddenly panic you will know if it's not right um if you get an immediate burning and a heat sensation on your skin just take it off get a cloth water whatever just get that product off your skin but if you put it on and it, it's red initially just give it a few seconds couple of minutes and if it subsides it's fine if your skin stays red and angry it's just take it off what I will say is that some products you can use for a long time, annoyingly, and then they will suddenly create a problem. And I've had that. Um, but it doesn't mean to say you can't go back to them. So just because maybe there's a, an episode where it does turn your skin red, doesn't mean you're not always going to be able to use them. And also, if you watch somebody using a product, don't think it's going to have the same effect on your skin. Um, it's very easy to think, oh, that's a bad product, when actually it isn't. Everybody's different. So my skin hasn't changed. Skincare routine hasn't changed. I'm still using the same cleansers, um, and you will know what they are. It is the number seven. Now, this is for dry skin. Um, I haven't really got dry skin, but I much prefer this cleanser out of anything, and it doesn't irritate my skin. It's number seven. It is the Melting Clay Gel, Melting Gel Cleanser. Um, they often have three for two. It also is often out of stock for a hell of a long time. Now, they did repackage it, so it was out for several months. Um, it does have vitamin C, E, B5 and grapeseed oil, um, and I do like it. It does have fragrance. I don't seem to react to fragrance, but I'm not happy with essential oils any longer. Um, but I do like that, and I tend to use that as my morning cleanse. I also use it as my second cleanse for the evening. Just how I prefer to do it. You can, whatever order you're happy. And then I'm still using the fabulous Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil, which I tend to get from Superdrug. And I just get a job lot, and they generally have an offer on. Um, they are cruelty-free and vegan, and I think Peter... I can't see the Peter thing. I did read something about Peter, but anyway, they are cruelty-free and vegan. Yes, Peter, it is Peter, verified. So... Um, that's what I use and it's dirt cheap. And I use that as my first cleansing in, in the evening and it just dissolves everything. Then I go in with the number seven um, 
cleanser. Sometimes I just use this. If I'm completely out of the number seven, I use this. But I, I do like two different consistencies. You don't have to double cleanse. Um, I tend to double cleanse if I've worn makeup. Um, just because I really like to get the mascara and everything off. Neither of those sting my eyes either, so I'm happy. So I've actually used my number seven cleanser this morning. I used it all over my face, really massaged it in, neck, and then I used a cloth to take it off. Now then, you'll have seen this before. Um, I love this and I use it as a treatment. Um, it's actually a tri-phase um, makeup remover and this is from Code 8. But... I absolutely love it as a skin treatment. Um, it does have macadamia nut oil, it has coconut oil, and I just shake it because it's a tri-phase, and I use one pump. I don't know if you can actually see that. I go on my tiptoes to show you. It's just one pump, and I just sort of take it onto the face, and it does leave a, a sort of smooth, glowy finish. I just like it. I like the feel on my skin. I started using it as a treatment when my skin was still a bit red and angry and it just seemed to sort of soothe the way. Um, and I absolutely love it. Just a pump. I always use any excess on my hands and rub it into my lashes because it's coconut oil. Lashes love coconut oil. And I just work it. I mean, you can, you know, you can do a, I could do a proper massage technique. I just tend to rely on the warmth of my hands to sort of press everything in and take it in. Lips, around my nose, I do find in my rosacea is sort of in the background. My nose is off in the first place. So I do find I get quite a sore, and it's often this nostril, I get quite a sore nostril and I get sort of redness on the end of my nose and that's when I sort of know when things are brewing. So I do find just sort of pressing oils and things just into the skin. My rosacea is always sort of here. If you remember, and you can look back, I had, my forehead was really badly affected with the rosacea. Um, you can see photographs on my Instagram and there's certainly YouTube, lots of videos on my YouTube where before I put makeup on um, where you'll see my skin and when I talk about my skin. Um, a few weeks ago I did have um, just it just really sore it just wasn't very pleasant and I did go back to my prescription prescribed Zolantra. Zolantra. Um, I do have Rosex as well um, but the Zolantra or Zolantra or Solantra um, actually couple of days and it just sort of took everything down a little bit so I do still go back to those and I do have them to hand so Rosex and Zolantra um, I do use so for anybody new I just want to show you um, the items I'm talking about so I use the Rosex gel this is prescription both of these are prescription um, you know talk to your doctor dermatologist they often um, prescribe as lake acid, which is what I was prescribed initially. It worked initially, but it also, for me, I found it really, really drying and it created more problems. I do sometimes get dry sort of psoriasis in my hairline um, and touch wood. Um, I haven't had it for a long time, but the azelaic acid didn't work long term for me. Um, the Rosex gel, um, you can get a cream if you prefer it. This was a godsend for me. It transformed my skin and really took my rosacea down. It was actually a family um, member who, Judith, the lovely Judith, I will be forever thankful, Judith, who just said, have you ever tried this? And so Rosex, um, for different things, often the sort of, they seem to work, you know, some for the pustules, some for the redness. So Rosex, and then as I was saying, the um, Zulantra, Zolantra, again, prescription only. That is a cream, tiny amount, but it really sort of just took the soreness and the redness down for me. But I always have both to hand. Um, I'm never without them, just in case, that's the thing. So the three-in-one, the tri-phase makeup remover, it just leaves a sort of silky soft, I just like 
where it is on my skin routine, how it affects my skin in the routine. And I'm reluctant to change anything. When you find a formulation that works, you, you kind of don't really deviate from it at all. This is my Desert Island product. I mean, if I had to survive, and they said you can only have one product, it would definitely be this. This is the Apotheca Barrier Support Serum. Um, niacinamide Ceramide Complex Hyaluronic Acid. Um, again, a godsend. It kind of came into play at the same time as I was using these. And sort of together, I really feel they transformed my skin and gave me my skin back in many ways. Um, I always, always use this morning and evening. You need sort of half a pump. Sometimes I go three quarters at night. Um, I always have a spare or two spares. I absolutely adore this product. You can get it in three sizes. Um, it lasts forever, but it's just one of those I wouldn't negotiate. It is essential. Um, it is my number one skincare product. Um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit on my finger there. And then I just pop it on various points of my face, blend it in. I take it everywhere, take it everywhere. It blends beautifully out. It's very, very lightweight. It's very cooling as well, which you will know if you have any compromised skin issues that often your skin feels quite warm and hot in a certain way. And there's nothing better than just feeling something cooling. Um, and I just always end up pressing products in, taking it in. But I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, the Apotheca site is incredible because you can get the skincare for everybody. It's not just for people with compromised skin, but everything is so beautifully explained. They have essential oil products. They have essential oil free products. Everything is thought about. There's so, so many options. And you do get little samples as well with your order. You can ask for certain samples, which I think is great. Rather than just being sent stuff, you can be, you can ask, request for things you feel will be suitable. So that's the Apotheca Barrier Support Serum. Um, it features a lot of my Instagram. Um, I will put links to the website. Um, I've had PR before from the brand, um, but I have this, I buy, you know, um, and I'll keep buying it. It's simple as that. It's just a no brainer. So actually everything I'm featuring now I've bought, but I will tell you if I've had PR from the brand previously, but generally PR comes after I've used the products for some time, which is always lovely. So Apotheca, Desert Island product without a doubt. So that goes on. I usually try and give time between my products. A product you'll have seen a lot on a brand you know I love um, is Vichy. And I've loved Vichy for a long time. And I've been in and out with various products because my skin has changed. Um, but Vichy, I use the Mineral 89. Now this is sort of a booster of hydration. I just feel that it benefits my skin. Throw as much at it as I can without overdoing it um i did have pr from them and i'd used this product for a long time and they sent me a bottle and I, of course i used it because it's just part of my routine this i bought um i i generally have a spare another one that i'm very rarely without i just like the addition to this it just feels like another layer just giving the skin hydration with rosacea i found my skin because it was so red and aggressive and bumpy and the pustules it feels very sore and very dry and you kind of feel that sort of the more product the more slick it is the more comfortable it is to live with um and it's more bearable as well and i absolutely love this i used to use um the thermal serum which i used for a long long time and then my skin I could tell it wasn't happy with it, so I sort of headed in this direction. But I love Vichy, it's a brand that I trust with my skin. Um, but yes, this will go on next, so we're going to pop this on next. And then again from Vichy, you've seen this before. This is the Aquilea Volcano Drop Moisturiser. Um, I love this moisturiser, it's very silky on the skin, it's very cooling, um, it doesn't upset my skin. I do feel that often I need a little bit more in the winter. It's a great summer moisturiser, but I sometimes feel I just need something with a bit more, you know, depth to it. And I do dip in and out with other Vichy moisturisers in the winter. Um, but I'm sort of going to try and see if there's anything high street. 
that will work for my skin. I may just go down that route. So as long as I've got sort of my base products, the moisturiser I'm happy to play with a little bit. Um, but currently, I mean, Vichy for me, it works. It, it could work for you. I can't make any promises, as I always say. Um, you know, everybody's different, even with rosacea. And you may have, sorry, I'm just hoiking my towel up. Um, you know, you could have exactly the same situation with your face as I've had, currently have. Doesn't necessarily mean that the products I'm showing you are going to work for you, but it's good to see. Now, I tend to use two pumps of the um, Mineral 89 just because I'm extravagant on camera. And I love this. Again, it's very, very cooling. I put it everywhere over my face. I try and take it down the chins and the old crepey neck. <laughs> and I always sort of press everything into the eye area. I don't use the separate eye cream. I have done in the past. I've had some great ones, um, high-end ones, um, Emma Hardy, I loved hers. Superdrug did, and may still do, a lovely, I think it was an iced wine one from their range, which I absolutely loved. Um, but it isn't something I sort of feel is essential. And as I say, I do sort of press my products in. Um, so I don't currently use an eye product. I mean, you can you can do all this taking it up. I mean, I used to do that for years and it's not really helped with the old jowls. It's just, you know, gravity. I've been, you know, I'm nearly 52. So um, there you go. I'll give that a few seconds, few minutes, and then we'll go in with the um, Volcano Drop Moisturiser. Um, SPF. Um, I've been using the Clinique SPF, which I do put on. That's actually with my makeup. I haven't got it here in the bathroom. But yes, I always put an SPF on, um, summer or winter, spring or autumn. Um, there's always UV and I'm always very, very careful. And I don't rely on protection within my makeup. Some people do. We do what we do. But I like to have a separate SPF um, with UV, A and UVB. Um, protection so there is always that that layer and then makeup to go on but that's my skincare and I just thought it'd be nice to show you it's still the same I know it may seem a little bit boring um, I used to rotate my skincare so often there was nothing I loved more I had drawers of the stuff and rosacea kind of ended that love affair and I do miss it in a way but I've learned an awful lot from having rosacea which is a I certainly didn't need the products I'd been using. B, it does make me wonder if I overdid it with my products um, because there's so much out there and it's so tempting to just keep, you know, retinols and AHAs and BHAs and PHAs and, duh, 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 and keep going and going. And at some point your skin's going to have to say, please, enough. So I've learned that I can live on very few products. Um... Yes, the rosacea was awful, but my skin is no different to how it was when I was throwing all that stuff at it. As in, you know, sort of looking at it and aside from the rosacea issue, um, it's not really been any different without. I do use um, an exfoliant. This is um, an enzyme exfoliant. It was PR. This is from Apotheca again. And this is a papaya, pineapple, um, cherry ferment. And you can leave this on the skin if you're hardcore. And years ago, I would have done. You can leave it on your skin. I tend to put it on and leave it for two to five minutes. And then I remove it. And it just takes off, even though I cloth every night. So I'm taking off the dead skin cells. It just leaves my skin that little bit brighter. And that you can just tell it feels smoother and it just looks that little bit better. And I do this probably about once a month. I'm very cautious about exfoliants. I did dip in and out with them when the rosacea was quite bad. And often I felt it was a great benefit, even though it would make my skin very red and angry. It did seem to just sort of, I don't know, a couple of days later, I think, yeah, my skin certainly looks and feels better if I'm not looking at the rosacea. Um, but I was always very careful about that and I stopped eventually with AHAs and everything else. But this um, 
this en enzyme exfoliant it's gentle enough for me but i i would not leave it on any longer as i say two to sort of five minutes and i cloth it away and then pat dry my skin and i've not had any um issues at all on the negative side it's all been very positive so i would definitely buy this um but very kindly i was i was sent this i'd had a sample and was so impressed um but natasha is just an incredible owner of the business she's always there with ex excellent advice and she really understands her client and she very kindly said look let me send you you know um a product so you can try it properly into your routine and i've had this for a long time so i'm not saying this lightly i'm not saying this after just a month of using this is months and months and months and months and months of using it um you know i'm very very careful what i say now um it expires in january 24 but i've probably had this nearly a year um but a long, long time. So I found this works for me, but once a month, I'm very careful how often I use them. Right, I'm gonna put some of my moisturizer on. I'm gonna leave it there, my lovelies. Just going in with the Vichy. And I'll be back with another offering very soon. I hope you're all well. Thank you for your comments and take care until the next video. Bye for now, bye.